Welcome to Shaper. Come on in. Shaper is a human-involved robotics company, so we're trying to use computer vision and robotics technology and other modern technologies to bring the power tool industry up to date uh, and beyond. So Shaper Origin is our, our first product and our first foray into making products that enable people to do crazy things, making stuff that they just couldn't do before. This was Brubeck, our first prototype that had all three axes. So the Z-axis could move up and down, it could plunge for you to variable depths. In Brubeck, all the electronics and computation was still external. So there was a whole external computer. Everything was kind of just shoehorned into this. So my role at Shaper has been to take some of the concepts behind what Brubeck was, off, off board computer, off the shelf electronics, make it all custom, integrate it all into one device, and make it manufacturable. And then the last piece of the puzzle here is Shaper Tape. So Shaper Tape, which comes in this roll like this that we manufacture. Uh, this is how you augment your workpiece, how Origin knows how to track where you are in 3D space. So this is designed to be cheap, disposable, easy to apply and easy to come off. Origin knows exactly where it is in 3D space, so you can augment your design files virtually onto your workspace. And then from there, it's basically like playing a video game that Origin lets you control. On Origin's capacitive touchscreen, you follow the lines, you try to stay as close as possible to the thing that you're cutting. Uh, and Origin has a real-time correction system. It's like autocorrect for your hands. So you do the rough movements, and then Origin does the fine adjustments for you, adjusting many hundreds of times per second to make sure that you're following your cutting path exactly, even if you don't have the world's most steady hands. So you get a cut that is perfect, uh, despite you, as a human, not being perfect. One of the uh, cool things about Origin is that uh, all of the parts have to work together in perfect harmony uh, from both a software, electrical, and mechanical standpoint. And with, if either one of those doesn't work as it's intended, then the entire product uh, won't function properly. Within Origin, uh, there's multiple PCBs, all of them mounted in different planes and at different angles just because of the uh, uh, complexity of the product. There's 10 rigid, rigid circuit boards in there and, and three flexes. And to connect all those things and do so in a cohesive way that A, is manufacturable, uh, and B, allows us to meet the goals of the compactness and robustness for the product was very challenging. Altium Designer has been pretty critical in allowing me to work very closely with our mechanical team, make sure that all the constraints are met the first time and design electronics that are compact, but let me do everything that I need them to do. Uh, also help me do a lot of back and forth with our manufacturers, exchange, do design for manufacturability with them. There's a lot of that that goes into this product. We use the 3D capability a lot. I use the multi-board capability that came out recently to validate some of our uh, rigid and flex interactions. We were able to get a lot of these measurements and things right the first time. And as a startup, we don't have the time or money to do a hundred revisions of these things. We want to get as much right initially as possible, and Altium has been quite critical in allowing me to do that efficiently. For me, Altium has been the winner for our applications, in particular, the electromechanical constraints that I have to deal with. No other CAD package even comes close on those capabilities. So that's the key winner for me. And then on top of that, it's working into my design flow and my release flow, which I feel like I have very tuned at this process at this point through Altium. And I can very efficiently make a change, release it to the DFM, get it manufactured, and I feel like I have full traceability through that process. And I, I don't feel like I've been able to do that with other similar options that are out there.